back at the discovery mods going to install the Takancha, however you pronounce it brake controller so this is the plug and play brake controller harness that goes up underneath the uh, panel here it's the same as a Ford Explorer so this is the part number you can buy I got it on Amazon I want to say it was 15 bucks and then I bought the Primus brake controller this seemed to be the one all the guys on the Land Rover forums love so I bought this one part number is 90160 so my goal I didn't unbox it yet I'm hoping it fits in here that would be nice because I hate if you mount it here you get in the truck it's the first thing I hit with my foot and I really don't want it here because my left knee will hit it or right knee will hit it whatever so I'll see or I'll just leave the harness you know zip tied here somewhere and I'll just put the brake controller somewhere else you know in the center console and then when I need to use it I'll take it out so you have to start by taking the two seven millimeter screws out there is one here and this little divot and then there's one there and this little divot as well so I'm gonna pull those out real quick make sure there's nothing else here it doesn't feel like it and we'll resume from there so mid uninstall update I told you there's two there's one and two there's actually a third one right here in the center I did not catch they're actually not tight so you can just undo it by hand here once you get the socket on the screw This is why YouTube's good because you can zoom through this painful process here. All right, I can't even unscrew a bolt. All right, so she pulls down nice, nice. You're gonna unplug, move your iced tea. Yep, and then you're gonna unplug this. It's got a little bopper in the middle here. Push down, pull out. That's that. This is a nice little foam piece here, so that way doesn't rattle or make noise so I'll have to stick that back up later there's a lot of debris in here shake that out put it back on the seat make sure you poke a hole in your leather <laughs> all right so now where is this plug that goes up somewhere that's not it <laughs> Move this stuff out of the way Have a gander. All right, so easiest way to see it is to go up from the brake pedal and just look up. It's right there. See that gray connector? That's the girl. So from your oh yeah, my back. All right, from your harness, which is this, you're gonna plug that into the gray plug. And then this end will go into our brake controller. So bear with me here as I lay back under there, plug this in, and then I will show you the wiring from there. All right, so it just plugs in. Here's the harness here. You obviously would like to route it out of the way so that way you don't hit your pedal. I think what I actually am gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole into the back of this so I can have the harness just pop out right here. But again, I'm gonna unbox this thing now and just see how it, would it would not fit comes with this metal bracket so you could mount it somewhere in the truck you know you blow two holes in your ship with the supplied hardware which are just some self tappers like so well, then as you can see the back of this is just plug and play that plugs into the back of that Ooh, and that does fit but that's a knee slammer mm. I don't know. I'm not sold on it yet. Hmm. Alright, so I'm not going to do a permanent mount on this. I think I'll still do that. Put a hole through there and I'll just let this thing sit in here as I need to use it. It's not going to go flying out because I'm not going to be driving like Mario and Dreddy here. So, just plug it in like so. 
can only go one way. As you can see, it's got this little guide tab on here. Again, difficult for me to do with one hand. But there's that. It's working. I have to actually read the instructions, but usually on the dial, it's just more or less sensitivity for your braking, or more brake power, I should say. I don't know what this 6162 BS is, doesn't really matter, but all right, well, whatever, at least that's done. I'll just tie the harness up so it's out of my way, and if I need to use it, I'll just plug it in and do one of those for now. Okay. And that's it. So just reverse the process, put those three bolts back in, snap that thing up, and you're done. Again, this is the Discovery 5, the big body truck, not the little sport.